Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video I want to talk about how when the whole NSAS uh, campaign was going on, when it really got heated, when we got to the climax, a lot of people were really up upset. A lot of people were very emotional. Emotions were running. A, lo a lot of people's emotions were everywhere. Tiwa Savage, who is a popular Nigerian, popular Nigerian singer, and um, she, she went on Instagram and she was calling on people like... Um, Beyonce to use their platform to join the hashtag and SARS and stuff like that I was surprised when I saw posts by people who said oh Nigerians are looking for uh, Nigerians are looking for uh, Beyonce to come and save them what, they, what did they want Beyonce to come and do and stuff like that and I'm like I just I'm, I'm thinking to myself honestly I think one of the things we all have to realize and accept is that not everybody commenting or making posts is actually matured when there was Black Lives Matter, they realized the importance of somebody like Beyonce posting about, you know, Black Lives Matter. When Beyonce posted about Black Lives Matter, she didn't go to fight a war. She didn't go on the streets to do anything physically. All she did was just posted about it. That's it. And I said, well, Nigerians are looking for Beyonce to come and save them. I bet, how does Beyonce save people? How? If you know how she saved people, let me know. Nigerians are looking, oh. Nigerians are looking for Beyonce to come and save them. Save us how? What is it? Let me tell you, at the end of the day, what people are saying is this. We are trying to create international awareness of what's happening in our country. That's it. International awareness of what's happening in our country. There were so many people that didn't know about it until Beyonce shared it. Uh, until Beyonce posted about it. That is awareness. That was all she was asked to do. Create awareness with your platform. At the end of the day, let me tell you, it wasn't even, it wasn't even about Beyonce as an individual, as a person. No, it was her platform. Because of what her platform can achieve. Because of how far, you know, her platform can make the message go. That was what it was all about. Let me tell you, it, was, it didn't even matter if Beyonce's child was to take her Instagram and just post it and says it wouldn't even matter do you know why because it's not about Beyonce it's about her platform I don't know if people are getting what I'm saying people are not looking for Beyonce they just want to use her platform it's like where there's an emergency and somebody said I see somebody that has a vehicle and people are like oh come on can you use your vehicle to help us transport this person to the hospital it's not about the owner of the vehicle it's about the vehicle of the owner does that make sense we are doing you know they're not looking for the owner of the vehicle it is the vehicle that they want what people were asking was not for Beyonce but for her platform to use it as an avenue to share the message to share the message oh they are looking for Beyonce to come and save them what do they expect Beyonce to do simply use your platform to spread our message for us that's all who is Beyonce is she God who is she what can she do what what can she do? They didn't ask her. Nobody asked her for money. Oh, send money to Nigerians. We are starving. That was not what it was. Nobody asked her for anything. Use your platform to create awareness. That's all. Thank God she obliged. Thank God she obliged. But some people are taking it. Uh, why the Nigerians? Why are they calling? Uh, they should go and meet their corrupt leaders. At the end of the day, no be fault. Now condition, I make crayfish bend. If not for our leaders that are disgracing us. We will not be not be this we will not be at this level let's be honest about it i was surprised when i saw posts like that oh what did i want beyonce to come and do and they're like uh, tiwa savage now that she's done that nobody's gonna want to no international uh, uh, celebrity will want to no international singer will want to collab with her or want to work with her or whatever and i'm taking to myself do you guys know who tiwa savage is i'm not even into a lot of music but i know who she is and you think she, Tiwa Savage needs any international singer to be known? If to, For those that do not know, as far as I know, Tiwa Savage was living abroad, has been singing abroad. She didn't break through until she returned to Nigeria and started playing music, and started doing music in Nigeria. Before Tiwa Savage exploded in Nigeria. But some people think in, 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 singers in Nigeria can never be eat until they work with a foreign singer. That's a lie. That's a lie. David Do. David Do is a Nigerian boy, became famous in Nigeria. Became famous in Nigeria. Today, international singers are calling him for collaboration, calling him to feature in their songs. And you know, some people just feel because they're Nigerian, they're nobody. They don't know a lot of our Nigerian singers today are hot cake. Hot cake. 
Go all over Instagram, you see people dance groups, dance group or whatever they call them. Nigerian music in the background. There is more Nigerian music in the background more than any music of any country in the world. In a lot of songs that you see on, Inst on Instagram, people are dancing to. And you think because of uh, we have our problems. Yes, we do. We cannot deny that. Because of our problems, you just feel like you're, you're whatever. I don't know. You think that we can't do without your country or that country or whatever. Nigeria can never be anything without a foreign, a foreign, uh, what's it called, singer sing with them. Or a foreign. No. At the moment, as far as I know, a lot of the international singers are trying to break through into African music. And what are they doing? They are using, they are inviting our Nigerian singers. Uh, inviting our Nigerian singers to help them with their songs. At the end of the day, let's be honest, it's our leaders that are disgracing us. If not for our leaders, our level will not be here. Our level will not be here. So calling Tiwa Savage to, let me tell you why. Another thing I want to say is, why people say, use your platform to spread our news or our campaign or our rally to go further is awareness. And why is awareness important? Nowadays, we all know we all know that even a policeman wants to do something, he does not want anybody to film him. Now, look, look, it's up not only in Nigeria. Policeman wants to do something he knows is illegal. Whatever he's doing that he knows is wrong, he does not want cameras to catch him. The same thing with leaders. A lot of the things they are doing, they don't want the international community to know about it. So by even spreading this thing, a lot of them may want to save face and then they will behave themselves. That is the importance of uh, creating awareness. At the same time, let's be honest, our leaders are committing the worst things in the world. What do they do after that? They go to foreign countries to go and get comfortable. After Buhari won election, what did he do? He went abroad for how many months? How many months? Our leaders are going abroad, their children are schooling abroad, they have homes abroad, they are keeping their money abroad. A lot of these things, they are getting the best healthcare abroad. They are being accommodated abroad. And I'll tell you the truth, when they are behaving badly, international awareness is something they would not like. A lot of the things these people do, they do not want the international community to be aware of it. That is what international awareness is about. Part of the things international awareness is about. So people are saying, Beyonce use your platform. And believe it or not, it was after Beyonce shared it that some international newspapers, news, whatever, news stations knew about it. And they started making videos about it. The ones that made, though, the ones that made, so everybody did not bother. <laughs> but the ones that made it was after Beyonce. That was when they picked it up. At the end of the day, all that she did was use her platform to talk about it, just to spread awareness. It's not that because we're expecting Beyonce to come to Nigeria and uh, wave her hand and SARS will be over, or wave her hand and SWAT will be over. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. And because, for whatever reason, maybe you don't like Nigerians, it's okay, you don't have to like Nigerians. Maybe because, for whatever reason, you don't like Nigerians, that's why anything Nigerians do, you prepare you for body rich your bone. Hey, why are they calling Tiva Savage? Hey, what's she going to do? As if they don't know. When Tiva Savage was spreading about Black Lives Matter, and if it was not important, why was she posting about Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. Eh? It's not like they don't know the importance of, of, of platform, but because it's Nigerians. You know, some people, they are hatred for Nigeria. It rich their bone. It rich their bone. At the end of the day, we are all black people. Whether you are a black person in, in Jamaica or in the UK or black person in America or in Haiti or whatever, black and a black, racism, now all of us are suffering together. Now all of us are suffering together. Let me tell you, do you know that international awareness can bring about a situation where a country can say that president is no longer allowed in our country? It can happen. That governor is no longer allowed. It can happen. And some of them know about, they don't like to, some of them worry. I'm going to be honest, some of them worry about internationally being known for their at atrocities. This is what international, part of the reasons why international awareness is important. It's being in the news internationally. Because when some of them commit crime, they want to commit it in the dark. That's why they turn off uh, toll gate light. Some of us that know what I'm talking about. They don't want people to know what they have done, especially internationally. Those are the reasons why Beyonce was being invited to use your platform. A lot of people that use that platform, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. How many seconds does it take to use somebody's Instagram and say, and SARS? How many seconds? We gonna pray for the innocent, cause right now it don't make sense. Right now it don't make sense.